second walk, sorry. It's just poking its head out of the grass on this tiny little animal, animal pathway. How can we, you go, you've got it in right in the middle of your screen. Look at that. Hello. Come out here. Beautiful little character. Now, not very big. It's a young male, of course. He doesn't look particularly old either. But tiny, 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 and standing, just walking on the animal pathway, actually coming quite towards us. Ooh, Chantel. Chantel's giving me an update about me. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> That's always quite funny. But um, a very, very cute, sorry, that was me making the car move. I took my foot off the brake like a silly banana. But how beautiful is this little character? And, and coming straight towards us, which is on the unusual side. Yes, we're here, but don't get a fright and run away. Now, they're a beautiful color. And this one in particular, look, he looks so nice and dark too. He's almost got the coat color of a bushbuck rather than a steenbok, which describes, their name actually describes that brick red color. Stian in Afrikaans is a brick, like a building brick, and here in South Africa they typically are that sort of uh, old school uh, clay pot. Now, I'm going to just lower my voices. I don't know if the steenbok doesn't know that I'm here. It, it's definitely not bothered by us. It, it seems to be on the scent of something. See how it's sniffing? It's smelling the plants. It doesn't look like it's eating anything. And you can see very, very clearly that a steenbok has got pre-orbital glands. So just in front of their eyes, they've got sort of wet marks. So what they will do is that's one of the ways that they deposit their scent onto plants. So maybe there was a female steenbok, which also marks a territory that was moving through here. But he's young. This is not a big steenbok. You can see just by the size of his horns, they're still very, very small. Not as tall as what they could be. But how cool is that? I don't think I've ever had a steenbok sighting for so long before. <laughs> Chris, you said a fairy tale deer. It is indeed a fairy tale deer. Perhaps a deer. Not, not quite a deer. No, I don't even know what I was going to say there. But that was really wonderful. You know, I hit the brakes really hard thinking that it was just going to dart off into the distance. But darting is something that this steenbok has not done. And I have noticed it with young Dacre and, and young steenbok. More so with young Dacre, though, that they're quite relaxed and they don't seem to bolt off. Maybe it's because of the little bit nervous and the Dacre sightings that I've had that have been fairly close of youngsters are just them sitting in the grass, just hoping that we hadn't spot them. Obviously, we had spotted them. But how 